when you think in exercise terms, what surfing really is about is paddling. It's actually the bulk of the exercise in surfing. Uh, looked at it, you know, looked in that light, we really should call ourselves paddlers, not surfers. We spend a lot more time paddling, in and out of the surf, paddling for waves, paddling in. We spend way more time paddling than we do actually surfing. In the past, there haven't been many exercise devices or machines that have targeted those paddling muscles, but uh, that's changed. One of those machines is the Vasa Trainer. Uh, it might look like a medieval torture device, but in fact, it's actually it's a fun machine, originally designed for swimmers, but it's been shown to really focus and target on those paddling muscles that surfers require, surfers of all skill levels, too. So it's a fantastic machine, whether you're a beginner or a pro. So uh, just bear with me here. I'll run through a few of the exercises that are really surfer-specific on this machine. As you can see, it consists basically of a beam on two stanchions with a rolling pad. You pull yourself up using your own body weight and some resistance cables down here for the exercise. But the best thing is about this machine is that you actually learn good technique right from the get-go. And one of those techniques is how to lay on your board because if you're, especially if you're a beginner, the board's a little tippy, a little hard to balance. That affects your paddling. By laying on the pad properly, aligned correctly, you tighten your stomach muscles, you press your lower back into the pad, and you keep your legs straight behind you or pulled up a little bit, it'll actually improve your paddling technique when you get out on the water. Too many surfers splay their legs out, they, you know, they rock back and forth. All of that cuts down your paddling efficiency. So this machine, you get started right away becoming a better paddler. For the basic paddling stroke, you take the two handles, lower yourself down as far as you can to where you take your weight on your arms. You don't go all the way down. You keep a little muscle tension as you do it. The paddling stroke in the Vasa, you keep your elbows high and you want to think of them as sort of being on an axis. So as you stroke up, you want those elbows to stay primarily in the same position as you pull yourself all the way up through the paddling stroke. That's important because you don't want to be bringing your arms way down because that engages different muscles and you also don't use your muscles as efficiently. You want to keep those elbows high and that way you can engage the muscles of the tricep and the deltoid, even some of the biceps too. So the stroke is similar to this. You want to pull yourself up quickly and then for the negative muscle movement you want to let yourself down a little bit slower. So you pull up hard let, let yourself down a little bit easy like this. It's also important that you go through a full range of motion with the stroke so that as you pull yourself up, you want to press with those triceps, bring your hands all the way up to your hips like you're reaching into your back pocket for the full range of motion and the full exercise. So basically, here's the paddling stroke on the Vasa. Another interesting thing you ever notice, especially on longer boards, the tendency you have to bring your legs up when you paddle. It's actually, you're listening to what your body needs. By bringing your legs up, that forces your lower back into the board, and it actually relieves some of the strain on your back while you're paddling. So, you know, you can keep your legs straight down like this on the Vasa, or you can raise them up like this, which takes a little of the pressure off your back. But the most important thing is to keep your legs tight and keep them, you know, basically pointed straight behind you. You don't want to get out like this and start, you know, wagging all over, which is the same as when you're paddling your surfboard. So this is the basic Vasa paddling stroke. Like with any exercise, you want to vary your workout. The best thing about the Vasa is that it incrementally can be raised higher, so you can use it in a form of resistance training. For example, when I do a workout, what I do is I do a set of 10, and I go through the entire range of motion by raising the angle up and then back down. But you want to vary the workout, like with any you know training exercise, because you don't want to get stale. And that's a nice thing about this machine, actually, is that you can do that. You vary it up and down. Another good thing about this machine is that you can do a variety of exercises, all of them you know, uh, pertainable to surfing. I'll show you a couple more that are pretty simple. I'm going to raise the level just a little bit, get a little more resistance, and then I'm going to lengthen the strap by just undoing it once. This in the gym 
This exercise is called the seated row, uh, whereas the paddling stroke targets most of the muscles, like the back and shoulder muscles, your triceps, the deltoids. This one engages a few of the bigger muscles in your back, like the latissimus dorsi or the lats, as they say. Really important, uh, especially for the endurance aspects of paddling. Essentially, this is an angled seated row. You sit on the machine, you bring yourself into position like this. Now, you want to make sure you keep your back up and straight. You don't want to be leaning back. You don't want to be leaning too forward. You keep your back straight, and you pull yourself up just right about here. The range of motion isn't that far. But you bring your, keep your elbows tight, and you just pull yourself up and down the angle like this. Once again, you want to pull yourself up faster than you let yourself down. It's that negative motion where you get a lot of the, a lot of the workout. This is the upright seated row. Posture is important, of course, as it is with surfing. Style is everything, even on the Vasa. Now, of course, sort of the core of your strength, the core of your balance, the core of everything is your midsection. And if you watch any TV, you can see they've got millions of machines that target those abs. And it's not just for modeling or just looking good. Keeping your midsection toned, you know, that's, that's the core of everything. All the twisting movements, it's basically, you know, the center of all athletic uh, activity. So here's a pretty neat exercise you can do on the Vasa to target those muscles. You grab the handles here, you hook your legs behind the machine. I mean behind the rolling pad. You let yourself down to a full extension and then by curling up, by tightening your ab muscles, you pull back up and hold it. It's sort of the contraction at the top of this exercise where you hold it that's important because that's where you're really taxing the different muscles in your stomach and the abdominal area. To make it a little more difficult, you can rock back a little further or to make it easier, you can go forward. But essentially, you're curling your stomach muscles and against the resistance of the angle and the strap you're pulling the pad up to the top. The basics of exercise applies of course exhale as you go up, inhale as you relax, go back down. Breathing is important. Sometimes you can get so worked up you forget to breathe but you want to make sure to breathe. Of course, this is a rolling object, and if any of you have been on a skateboard, you know what that means. You don't just let go. You want to be careful. Make sure you don't just roll off the machine. But those are just a few of the exercises that you can use the trainer for. Um, you know, it's great for augmenting your surf program because, you know, let's face it, we can't surf all day every day. And a lot of surfers, not just uh, beginners, but more advanced surfers, they're always looking for ways to, you know, improve their surfing. And one of the simplest, best way is to get into surf shape, and this is one of the best machines I've found for that.